and welcome to your Kinect. Today I'm going to show you how the hydraulic engine mounts work and why they fail a lot. So a lot of times you have these vibrations you feel in the cabin and what happens uh, on cars that have hydraulic uh, engine mounts is that you have chambers in here that are filled with fluid and then uh, on top as well and that minimizes the vibrations but what happens a lot of time that fluid leaks out and then all you have is this rubber piece that's left and that will actually move further down it still minimizes vibrations but um, not anywhere close to what when the uh, the, the mount is good that's why like uh, for example on a Mercedes and, and BMWs with hydraulic engine mounts you feel those vibrations in the cabin steering wheel is because the mount has uh, leaked all the fluid out and then this works a little bit uh, not quite as well but eventually there's so much stress that it's put on this rubber piece that they eventually that tears as well so when if you ignore it not only you're gonna have really um, a lot of vibrations in the cabin but eventually when you replace this the, the engine mount separates the upper piece just falls off and the lower piece of the engine mount uh, stays and that's because the rubber here is completely cut at that point um, so you want to replace them as soon as they leak they are a little bit diffi uh, difficult to determine uh, when because they look fine but the fluid might be completely gone or membranes are uh, down here are cracked so the upper and lower chambers um, are not separated so it, it could be a little bit hard to determine when it's bad but as soon as you start feeling those vibrations in the steering wheel or in the seat when you're stopped you know you probably have a bad engine mount and uh, this is just for demonstration this is not a Mercedes mount but the design is similar thank you for watching your mechanic where you can be the mechanic